Section 1e, is metaphysics unfalsifiable? A reply to Section 1c and 1d addendums by O.G. Rose and all. I very much appreciate the distinction between the objective, the subjective, but also the falsifiable and the unfalsifiable. To make such distinctions is worthwhile for our continued conversation. While this divergence may not be necessary to continue our overall discussion together, the conversation may still be worthwhile for those who wish to learn more from our dialectic discussion. When O.G. Rose speaks about the distinctions that define a science, he borrows stipulations from Popper and Rawls. From Popper, O.G. Rose t makes the condition that a proposition must be falsifiable to be a science. From Rawls, he takes the additional condition that the persons making the observation must be interchangeable for a conclusion to be a science. Yes, the persons who used and make the bridge would obviously be able to affirm the presence and therefore the lack of the bridge. Daniel then asks, what of the person who never saw the bridge? This, does this mean lacks are absolutely objective, or is lack some kind of intermediate state between objective versus subjective? The video 1D by O.G. Rose and Javier Rivera used the term conditional falsifiable, and I feel comfortable with this term with two caveats. I would like to make a distinction between epistemological and ontological state of falsifiability. To borrow from Kripke, empirical observations can be necessary posterior knowledge. To use an example from Kripke's book, Naming a Necessity, humans spoke of water for hundreds of thousands of years in many different languages and cultures, but it was only when a certain culture developed the technologies to observe and theoretical models to describe water as hydrogen dioxide that such a name came to exist. Hydrogen dioxide always existed even if no one uttered the name hydrogen dioxide until a contingent point in time. Now, as I stated in Addendum 1b, while the name hydrogen dioxide is a material name, the name points to a distribution, a form. This form is the essence of what of what was cold water, or now hydrogen dioxide. In other words, the name binds the thing to the form. Wherever we encounter the thing named water, we also encounter the form. Therefore, when we test propositional statements, we are verifying the names that are applied are correctly bound to the right things and forms. Is this object in observation water? If so, the object would have these material combinations composition, excuse me, in this particular structure and arrangement. That particular structure is form and can be verified as true or false. If we agree from video one of Philosophy of Glimpses that metaphysics is concerned with form, then I believe I have illustrated enough to show falsifiability of form is possible. I admit we will have to do much more work to prove falsifiability of metaphysics of a whole but, that, but we can build on that at a later date. My second caveat is the consent that an activity and statement is science when interchangeable persons with the same body of knowledge applied to the same circumstances come to the same conclusion. This is not, this is not a very innovative condition. This is simply to verify the results of a demonstration by independent qualified persons, a scientific method. It would seem absurd to say science is not a sci medicine is not a science, excuse me, because if we swap a doctor for a random person off the street and that generic person does not come to the same diagnosis of a patient's symptoms as a doctor would. However, such a challenge to the claim that medicine is a science would be valid, in my view, if we swapped one particular doctor for another doctor and they derived a different diagnosis of a patient's symptoms, which does happen. My reason for, to believe such a swapping of persons is absurd is because the generic person does not have the knowledge of the forms of disease, which is the lack of health. I find this point interesting, and I hope you do all as well. I want to thank you all for your time. As said before, this is a, a more of a divergence of the overall project of this essay series, but I do think it's worthwhile to add on the commentating by O.G. Rose and Javier Rivera. I hope you all enjoyed this conversation, and have a great day.